Jack. Congrats, mate. It's fantastic to have you with us. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, good. Uh, have you got I was words? It's emotional, it? man, after the game. Like, these are, you know, just like the stuff that you dream of when you're a child. And I don't know, just when I see my family and stuff in the crowd, and everyone knows how close I am with my family and how much I love football. So these are just, you know, when you just have a time to. I just had a little second and I was just thinking about it all. And I don't know, this is just what I dreamed of since. Like, I was crap out there today. I thought I was terrible, but we just had to win the game. It was a tough game, um, but I was just, yeah, I was just so happy, man. And to do it with this group of players, I swear, I've never, I've never felt like this with a group of players and a group of staff and, and a manager, you know, I have so much to thank for. You know, he, he bought me last year for, you know, a lot of money. I was awful in my first, but I weren't very good in my first season. And then, you know, he's given me a platform to go and, I don't know, just give me confidence this season. And I've really felt it, you know, I've played in all the big matches. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I'm just so happy, man, honestly. I asked Micah before who he was happiest for, and he said you. Pardon? I asked Micah before who he was happiest for, and he said you, because of that price tag, because of the pressure of last season and then coming into this season. Yeah, you just, you just think about, you know, you think about, I don't know, man, we've won the treble, it's just crazy. And you think about all the people, you know, that have helped you to get here, um, your family and stuff like that. And that's just why I was a bit emotional at the end. Um, you shared yeah, that moment with Micah. We've got video of yeah. you. It's just true emotion, isn't it? I yeah, mean. because Mix knows that what I, Mix was with me at Villa when I first come through and was good. Then he was with me when, you know, I weren't even playing at Villa. Mix is, you know, I've always stayed in contact with him and he's knowing me through my ups and my downs and he's stuff. He's big so. mix now, you know. Big mix. <laughs> <laughs> big mix. So, yeah, no, nah, he's unreal. I have a weekend, you, weekend in paradise now, you, I'll tell you that. Are you big Jack now, the treble, you know, where you've come from, Aston Villa, <laughs> coming through, as you said, the people who've helped you along the way. I mean, this just puts you, obviously Manchester City, but this puts you on a different level. Champions League winner, treble winner. Yeah, because do you know what, though? I, I, I was thinking about... Even during the game, you're thinking, this is a Champions League final, we've got to win to win the Champions League final. And I weren't thinking that we'd also won the treble. Like, it's great. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean, though? Because the only thing that was in my head was the uh, Champions League final. And then I was like, oh, we've won the treble as well. I, I wanted, I, listen, I wanted to ask, say ahead, something ahead. to Jack. Look. Kyle, I, I, what's I, up, I, by I, the way? Good I'm to have you with us. Well done. Oh, thank you. Once thank again, you. look, I'm an honest man. I had my dad's doubts about you. I did. And I, I'm not going to lie, and I, I, but what was the turning point because something changed? Is it only Pep or something happened inside of you that you thought you had to step up your game? And I, I had that man. It, it, it can be a bit much at times and we won't go into details. <laughs> no, we know, we know, we know, we know, but what was the turning point for you? Do you know what it was? There was certain people in the club that are close to the manager who I get on really well with, the manager included. And after my first season, and even the start of my second, I felt like I was letting them, letting them down, you know, a little bit, thinking, you know, they paid 100 million for me. What have I actually contributed? Yeah, we won the league in my first season, but I didn't contribute much, do you know what I mean? And then I was like, I need to liven up here. And then after the World Cup, I don't know, I just, I found a new rhythm and he was playing me a lot, I felt fit and stuff. And then since then, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't really looked back and here we are now. Knowing, knowing all the time what you need to do, because we've paid, you get, you, we know between the boxes, it has to be exactly what it says. If not, you're in trouble. Anyway, anyhow, that helps also when you know exactly what is supposed to happen. No, exactly. And and, and one thing as well, this year, I feel like I know what he wants. Do you know what I mean? In my first year, I was like, I've just done something good there. And he was shouting at me. And I was like, what? <laughs> I've just done something good, but it's not what he wants. Do you know what I mean? So now I know what he wants, what type of passes, what, where he wants me out of possession. And I don't know, I feel like I get him now. Get him well done, more. well done. Jack. You made me change my mind. Well done. Can I ask you one question? Go on. Your best position here yeah, was like on the left. Everywhere, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. let's the, go back. Off the left. Do you reckon you take him on? Seriously? In my prime? In your prime. All day! <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you just have a page now? <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> we will never know. No, we will never know. <laughs>